Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Down to the Last Page. Now for today's video, I'm doing my TBR, my first edition TBR, and it's not like any normal to be read list this is my bookshelf tbr so btbr and the reason for that is that way back in the beginning when i first started my channel uh, my booktube movie tag i did state that one of the reasons why i started the channel was that i wanted to encourage myself to start reading getting back to actually reading the books on my bookshelf now ever since that video was posted i have bought new books i have been buying other books i'm really human however the books I have bought or all the new books I have purchased, they'll be coming up in future book haul videos or book tag videos. I'll also be bringing out a blog so I'll be talking about them on there too. But purely for the uh, TBR list that I'll be posting on my YouTube channel, they'll be mainly focusing on the books that I had on my bookshelf prior to March this year. So anything that's on my bookshelf that was prior to March this year will be the ones I'll be talking about and reviewing on my channel. Um, so I have selected the first five books I will be reading through and I will be going through. And the first book is by John Grisham, The Broker. I remember I picked this book up um, when I was at my local supermarket where there was like a, a charity bin and you donate and then you get to pick up the books. And I remember looking at this and thinking I need to actually pick up more thriller, more... Um, I don't know, it, this kind of just looks sort of, it, it almost looks scary, it looks scary, especially from the cover. Um, so if I quickly look inside, this was, it says number one bestseller. So this was probably, this came out 2005, so it's about 15 years ago now. Um, this book was released, so I'm just going to quickly read the blurb. So in his final hours in the Oval Office, the outgoing president grants a controversial last minute pardon to Joe Backman. A notorious Washington power broker who has spent the last six years hidden away in a federal prison. Backman is quietly smuggled out of the country in a military cargo plane, given a new name, a new identity and a new home in Italy. Eventually, after he has settled into his new life, the CIA will leak his whereabouts to the Israelis, the Russians and the Chinese and the Saudis. Then the CIA will do what it does best, sit back and watch. The question is not whether Backman will survive. There's no chance of that. The question the CIA, CIA needs answered is who will kill him? So this definitely is very interesting. I remember, yes, thinking that I read too many rom-coms and contemporary fiction. I need to sort of jazz up the sort of stuff I read. So I remember picking it up. So that will be the first on my BTBR edition one. The second book on my BTBR is What Happens in London by Julia Quinn. Now, you can see by the state of this book. I can't remember where I actually picked it up from. It looks like it got drenched or it, that could have been my fault I'm not, I'm not entirely sure um this came out in 2009 um it looked interesting so i'm just gonna read the blurb rumors and gossip the lifeblood of london when olivia Bellerstoke is told that her new neighbor may have killed his fiance she doesn't believe it for a second but still how can she help spying on him just to be sure so she stakes out a spot near her bedroom window cleverly concealed by curtains watches and weights and discovers a most intriguing man who's definitely up to something. Sir Harry Valentine works for the boring branch of the War Office, translating documents vital to national security. He's not a spy, but he's had all the training, and when a gorgeous blonde decides to watch him from her window, he's instantly suspicious. But just as he decides that she's nothing more than a nosy debutante, he discovers that she might be engaged to a foreign prince who could be plotting against England. Now, this definitely, definitely sounds interesting. So yes, I can't wait to get into this one. The next book on my BTBR is Dark Hearts Forever by Lee Monroe. So again, this one, it says at the top, two loves, one deadly choice. I remember picking this up from a um, charity shop, a thrift store. Um, and I just, again, I needed some more dark fiction, things like that, that I could actually get into. And I took one look at the cover and I thought, okay, this is definitely something I could like and it looks like it's part of um, a three-part series so Dark Heart Forever is the first book and then you've got Dark Heart Rising um, and then finally, if I could just find it um, there's another third part so I'm just going to read the blurb so one girl, two worlds, two soulmates Jane Jonas is nearing her 16th birthday and travelled by unsettling dreams who is this green-eyed boy who tells her that they are each other's destiny? Her mother calls it sleepwalking, but for Jane, her dream world and reality are about to collide. When she develops a friendship with gorgeous new guy in town, Evan, she wants him more than she's ever wanted anybody, until her Mr. Dream Boy gets in the way. This almost sounds like Twilight. Now Jane is caught between two worlds, one familiar, 
one tingled with romance and excitement, the other dark and dangerous where angels, werewolves, and irresistible stranger are trying to seduce her. Yeah, this definitely sounds like some Twilight girl caught between two boys, it's werewolves, pretty much, and I swear to God, if a vampire turns up, call suspect. But anyway, so this book came out um uh, let me see when the publishing date yeah so 2010 so here we are we're slowly moving up the timeline so this came out about 10 years ago again it looks like quite dark now that i've read the blurb it doesn't seem like it's too potentially dark but uh i'll see how it goes uh so the fourth book on my list is the ugly sister by jane fallon now i remember picking i definitely remember picking this up from a uh, thrift store um and i quickly i remember reading the blurb back then um, by the looks and the sounds of it, it's between two sisters, definitely one that got everything she ever wanted, praise in life and the other didn't. So I really like the premise. I think I remember starting this, but I never actually finished or actually really got into it. So I wanted to bring it back into my BTVR. So it's something I definitely want to finish. Uh, let's go through the blurb. Beauty can be a blessing or a curse. As Abby would be the first to know, she has spent her life in the shadow of stunningly beautiful sister, Cleo. Headhunted as a supermodel when she was 16, Cleo has been all but lost to Abby for the last 20 years with only a fleeting visit or brief email to connect them. So when Abby is invited to spend the summer with her sister's family, she can't bring herself to say no. Maybe Cleo is finally as keen as Abby to regain the closeness they shared in their youth. But Abby is in for a shock. Soon she is left caring for her two very spoilt young nieces and handsome unhappy brother-in-law John, while Cleo plainly has other things on her mind. As Abby moves into her sister's life, she wrestles with uncomfortable feelings. Could having beauty, wealth and fame lead to more unhappiness than not having them? Who in the family really is the ugly sister? So now reading that, I realise this could potentially be something more um, don't take beauty at face value by the sounds of it. So it's not that literally um, Abby was considered physically the ugly sister, but it does sound very interesting. I do enjoy stories with sibling dynamics and things like that, so I can't wait to check this out. And finally, the last book on my BTBR edition one is The People Next Door by Rosin Mimi. Now, again, when I picked up this book, this was from another charity shop that I picked it up. I was um, always going to charity shops and uh, look at their fiction. People always have some really good fiction, especially contemporary fiction. Um, and this one came out uh, 2008. So this is one that's over 10 years, under 15, um, like the first one, but over 10 years. And it also says a number one bestseller at its time, the blurb. So number seven, eight of Millers Avenue look like any other houses in any other well-kept neighborhood. But behind these three brightly colored doors live people with very complicated lives. When Yvonne in number seven joins an online dating website, she's looking for something more than friendship. But after a series of disastrous encounters, she decides to shut down her account. Is she shutting out her only chance of finding love? Next door, number eight, Dan signs up for a cooking course, determined to move on after his wife's desertion. But as his lemon souffle rises, so does his interest in someone close to home. Will his fingers get burnt second time round? And further along in number nine, Catherine is struggling to keep her marriage together despite best efforts of her interfering mother-in-law. As tensions grow between the two women, Catherine realizes that she may never be able to give her husband Justin what he wants. With the drama, unfolding along Miller's Avenue, the inhabitants learn that the things you most yearn for can often be found on your own doorstep. Straight off the bat, you've got meddling mother-in-laws, potential affairs, cooking classes, disastrous dating sites, I'm sold. The tea is exceptionally good today. I've This has drama all over it. I could smell it off the book and it is something I'd definitely be into. And yes, by the sounds of it, the complicated life between the residents of this Miller Avenue definitely would have been something that drew me to the book so yes this shall be interesting so there you have it folks this is my uh final five list choice for my btbr edition one i will be doing individual reviews of each of these books and they'll be coming out onto my channel over the next couple of weeks and that's it thank you so much for watching my video if you did like my video please do leave me a thumbs up and if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on twitter dwn2 to the last page where i drop hints about what my future videos will be about and i also tweet about book related content thanks again and i'll see you all next time